Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing great. आप सभी को मेरा सादर जय जिनेन्द्र So without wasting much time, let us get started with our understanding of today's market and let us find out some really really good opportunities for tomorrow at a very very low risk. So let us get started. So this is the chart of Nifty on a daily time frame. As you can see, Nifty was particularly consolidating in this particular tight range. It gave a clear breakout, and then yesterday it gave a retest at this particular point of retest area or the value area. And today we have a dominance of the buyer as the buyers have been able to close near previous day high as well as the current day high. Which means that we are now finally seeing strength in Nifty after these uh, good five days of uh, selling, right? Or uh, a good sell off which happened in the market. Now, this is particularly an area where we look for pullback trading, which involves low risk and high reward, right? So, if I were to initiate a trade, which I already have a long trade in Nifty, right? My stop loss is going to be below this level. A further positive thing in this pullback is that the Index has taken support at the 20 EMA, right? So whenever the market takes support at the 20 EMA in a trending market, it is likely to give a good movement on the upside, right? So we have a positive sign on the Nifty. Now this is a very low risk, high rewarding setup wherein you are trying to buy not at the breakout level but instead at the value area. And usually these value area trades. Are very very rewarding and they have a higher accuracy because this is a value area where most buyers are very very active, right? So let us go forward and have a look at some stocks which are also giving us same sort of price action. So as Nifty is giving me a retest, I will be looking forward to the stocks which are also giving me a good retest, right? So let us get started with the stocks. So the three stocks on my radar for pullback trading is Britannia, Marico and Vedanta, right? So let's go to Britannia first. Now let's have a look at Britannia, right? The chart of Britannia. Obviously at this point when you look at this sell off, it seems like a very weak stock, right? However, try to identify this particular big green candle. Now, this green candle, it suggests very very strong buyers right and these strong buyers they are going to protect their position at this point of time right so usually the low of such big green candles is likely to act as a very very strong support and now if you look at the today's price action for the last two days it is inside this particular range right so if there is a breakout we can expect a strong momentum until this point right so we have very low risk high reward setup in britannia now this is simply pull back trading so kindly take your notepad and write down the notes right so this is completely different from the breakout trading we used to do so when the market was very very bullish we were looking for breakout trading but now that we know that nifty is giving a retest we are actually looking for what trades coming at a value area right so this is britannia for you now let's go back and have a look at mariko so if you look at mariko again this particular stock is right now trading at a value area as you can see so this is an area from which it gave a breakout and right now if you look at the market after this particular sell off we have a clear retest with the dominance of buyer so if i take you to shorter time frame you will realize the amount of consolidation mariko is showing at this value area so simply if you look at the last four days right last four days of price action it is actually consolidating over here so, so this is a very good area to initiate your long trade so we don't even have to wait for a breakout but this consolidation clearly tells us that the buyers are getting in right so now today you have learned one more thing how to enter into a stock before the breakout happens okay this is usually to be done when the stock is consolidating at an area for almost 3 4 days right so that is a sign of buyers coming in now this stock once it gives a breakout it would not even give you a chance to reenter right so mariko is one stock which you should keep on your radar for going long the other stock which i am talking about is vedanta let's have a look at vedanta now the similar type of price structure you should see on vedanta on a daily time frame now look at this 
a clear breakout from this resistance and a one way up rally then the market falls just like how nifty did and you see the price action in vedanta and nifty is pretty similar right both of them trading at a crucial support which is this particular area and if you see we have a doji what does the doji tells us that both buyers and sellers are fighting it out and then we have a bullish candle today suggesting strength of buyers and then a closing of the candle near day high again a suggestion that the buyers are strong at the day end now if i take you to shorter time frame something like hourly time frame you will again see a good accumulation happening at this point a good consolidation so if there is a clear breakout you will get a very small stop loss and your target can be the nearest resistance so again today we have learned how to take low risk high reward trades at a value area now this is something which is very specific also to the market condition so until now we were doing breakout trading and today while i am discussing with you we are discussing more of retest trading now guys always follow the index right so if the index is telling you something you just have to follow the index and things will become much easier and i hope you learned something make sure you like the video you share it with your friends and you also subscribe to the channel right because a lot of exciting things have been planned out for you a lot of live trades have been planned and this is just a beginning of our beautiful journey on youtube so with that note thank you so much guys i hope to see you again tomorrow thank you so much